Hello, hello, hello. Adrian here, welcome. Um, so today for the quick pick a card, I'm drawing from this um, Angel Tarot deck. All right. I pre-drew your cards, so I pre-drew three cards for each of you, um, or for whatever selection you make. So the time stamps are down, but time stamps are down below. So if you want, you can either choose option number one, number two, or number three. Or if you decide you want to do so, you can also look at the whole reading, okay, and see if you maybe get all the magic from it. The choice is entirely yours. Whatever your heart says to you, you need to do. That is what I always recommend that you follow. Okay, remember there's also a weekly reading that's coming up for all the different zodiac signs. So go and check, um, you know, if yours has come out already, or you know, just check out down below um, in the schedule that's in the description um, by the timestamps for when yours is coming out. If you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you're more than welcome to do so. Also, if you're interested in learning to do the tarot, there's those details down below as well. Okay, so if you chose option number one, and this is quite a powerful thing, you got three major arcana cards number 13 release which is really the death card which is all about new beginnings 21 the world and number one the magician okay so i'm just going to read to you what the, what's written on these cards as well so number 13 release with archangel ratzel um which is as i said the death card which is all about new beginnings you know sometimes we misunderstand death um death is like or, or rather life, it's an ongoing cycle. And our journey on earth is part of a much bigger cycle, you know? So if you want to think of it in those terms, we had to leave somewhere in order to be born into this world. And then when we are through with our journey here, we have to leave here to be born into a new um, sort of world, new part of life, new part of journey. So when we embrace that it's an ongoing journey, then it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right. So your card says the end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation and time to move on. So if you're feeling a little stuck, it's time to move on, to move forward. And then the world there, the next card with Archangel Michael says a job well done. Joy, contentment and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. Okay, so things are really jazzing up for you. And then the last card, the magician there, also with Archangel it's red cell. You are ready. You know, you have the resources and the ability to manifest. Life is magical for you. So, you know, if you've been feeling inclined um, to, to move on, to go to the next phase, you know, now is the time. The angels are saying now is the time for you. Okay. Radio number two. You've got the page of fire. You've got the ace of air. Let me just put this nicely. And you've got the sun. Beautiful combination. Okay. So, page of fire, outgoing, creative, confident, and a little bit mischievous. You know, mischievous there. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. Okay, so something kind of magical brewing, you know, brewing there. Something kind of um, sort of a little bit naughty, but like naughty in a very good, positive, loving way. All right, Ace of Air, new beginnings. See, things are flowing, new beginnings. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation and, you know, a beginning that might be kind of challenging, but I do also still feel very, very magical. And then the sun, the word Archangel Uriel. Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success and have confidence in yourself. And you can see there's quite a lot of um, sunflowers there at the bottom. And I love sunflowers. And the reason why I love sunflowers so much is because sunflowers always open to the sun. But when there's no sun, they still open, but they open towards themselves, which is so beautiful. They give us other light, you know, and shine. And sometimes in the world, we forget to give ourselves that light, all right, that we're born with that magic. Number three. So where the sun is the divine on the previous, um, you know, reading the divine male, the moon is the divine feminine. So you got the moon there with Archangel Haniel. You got the ace of water. So beautiful flowing of emotions here. Maybe something was a little bit stuck and the two of fire. So maybe something was a little bit stuck, holding a little bit back there. And now that is kind of, you know, coming to pass. You're letting go, um, you know, of that limiting thought, that limiting belief. And it says the moon, there it says important psychic insights events behind the scenes release the fears that are holding you back okay 
ace of water. Sometimes with one to let go of something we realize it wasn't really that bad to start with. It just seemed very scary within the moment. Feeling in love or the resurgence of a real relationship, um, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition and the possibility of a new home, which can be a physical home or just a feeling of home. Two of fire. Magic magnetism. You've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. Continue to move forward. Okay. Ciao.